you've routed your traffic through Tor, your DNS is encrypted, your browser blocks trackers like it's on a mission from the privacy gods, and your phone hasn't connected to a real cell tower in six months. You're the digital equivalent of a guy walking around in a biohazard suit, except you left the front door wide open and the Wi-Fi router still says admin admin. This is the paradox of the modern privacy warrior. Over-engineered on the outside, wide open on the inside. And yeah, if you're watching this thinking, damn, he's talking about me, then good. That's exactly who this is for. Because while you're busy customizing your Linux Rice setup and running 14 layers of obfuscation just to open YouTube, real attackers are getting in because of simple things, like open ports, exposed config files, and credentials you never bothered to change. If that hit too close to home, and you're ready to stop cosplaying cybersecurity and actually start learning how to break and defend real systems, I've got something for you. At Cyberflows Academy, I wrote a book with every single method I used to make my first $1,000 from hacking. Real tactics, real websites, real bugs, and I still use them today. We've got full courses on ethical hacking, bug bounty, web app security, and reverse engineering, plus a Discord community where elite hackers casually share zero days like they're memes. No fluff, no corporate bootcamp garbage, just real stuff that works and helps you earn while you learn. Because here's the truth most people don't want to admit. Security isn't aesthetic. It's not about how many layers of encryption you have, or whether your email is hosted on a ProtonMail server carved into a Swiss mountain. It's about boring, unsexy things, like changing your default passwords, auditing your own attack surface, and patching the crap you forgot about. You can stack a VPN on top of Tor on top of a firewall and still get wrecked because your Jenkins server is exposed to the internet with no login page. But hey, at least your IP address is protected while you get pawned. Let me give you a few more examples. You switched to Brave, blocked every tracker known to man, wrote a custom DNS resolver in Rust just for fun, but left your AWS bucket public and your .env file sitting on the web. Or maybe you're the guy who hides his traffic using a chain of six proxies, but your GitHub repo includes hard-coded API keys from three jobs ago. You built the world's most anonymous system and then tripped over your own carelessness. The sad part? This is more common than you'd think. Overconfidence creates blind spots. The moment you think you're untouchable is the moment you stop double-checking. You stop doing the basics. That's when attackers walk right in. Not because they're smarter, but because they're patient. They're counting on you to forget something simple. And you probably will. They're looking at actual vectors. Bad access controls, weak authentication, broken authorization, file upload vulnerabilities. So what does real security look like? It's boring. It's discipline. It's logging into your systems and double-checking that everything exposed to the public internet needs to be there. It's rotating credentials, enforcing least privilege, enabling MFA, and scanning your own setup like you're the attacker. It's boring. And it works. That's the part nobody wants to hear. If you're tired of building fortresses out of tinfoil and actually want to be dangerous in the real world of hacking, start learning the stuff that matters. At Cyberflows Academy, we're not selling dreams. We're giving you the actual roadmap. Tools are fun. Flexing is fun. But finding a real bug, reporting it, and getting paid? That's where the fun actually begins. So stop pretending you're secure. Get good instead.